So what we're going to do now, we're going to assume that I'm the blue player and you are going to follow, follow along as the red player. So I'm just going to show you what I actually did. Uh, you wouldn't normally get to see this. Don't worry about how this is happening, it will be explained later. But these are my moves. Uh, my spaceships are going out, finding some planets, finding a black hole. And then uh, after they'd done all that, this was recorded and was sent uh, as a file over to you. So you will get the end part of this and you'll be able to watch part of what I did. What you won't be able to see is the values of my spaceships that have gone out. So you won't know what they are. So we're now on the other computer. Uh, this is a bit of a slower computer. Here's the file, Space Empires one, and I'm going to download it and um, I'm going to save it into this folder. Ignore those files for now, I'll delete those afterwards. Those were uh, an earlier game I was testing out. Um, so that's now been downloaded. So now we should be able to start the game by double clicking that file that we've just done. And that will load up Vassal and import the actual game itself and then when we've got this going we will first of all get the option to uh, play through the blue player's turn to see what they did but you will notice oh well first of all we need to sign in so we are the red player and uh, you'll notice when we do this that the blue player's tokens um, counters rather will be upside down so that we can't see the details of them so here's the board Move that up a touch so when I move up here on this button here this will take me through all the steps that the blue player did so first thing he did was set up his uh, pieces and then you can see the scouts moved out then he flipped over the planets and revealed a black hole there's the two main counters and then you'll notice he, he even rolled if we just move this down a touch up here it'll show what he rolled they are rolled a one and that meant that that ship wasn't destroyed you notice you can't see the details of the ships then says do you want to end the log file and start a new one yes we do so we'll click yes it'll ask for a name so this is going to be reds one and we're going to save that and um, we won't have any comments so now we go down and we actually do Red's turn one. So in a similar way that we did last time, we can set up the home world with the right click HW. Those are the spaceships again, zoom in maybe. And this time I'm going to send these scouts out, I'm going to one out here, one out here, and one out here. Um, again, I'm not going to risk because there is on one of the red spaces there is a, a black hole. So I'm not going to risk my colony ships yet. So I'm just going to move to those positions. I'm going to get rid of the movement markers, these lines with the blue dots, by clicking the tick, and then right click and flip. Now one thing on this one that we um, need to do is actually go up here and find the little, there it is, the little clock. This is the turn and that says player one, it should be player two. So I've just clicked on the plus, P2, player two. Okay, that becomes more important later on. So what we've done now is we've moved everybody, we've explored. We're not gonna send out any uh, of our colony ships uh, because I don't want to risk them ending up in a black hole. So I go up here and I go to end log file. And then this needs to be emailed back to the other player. So we're gonna go on reply. And um, find that actual folder. Um, that's the wrong one. Uh, online example, and that was reds turn one. And when I send that back, we'll be ready for the next turn on the uh, the other one. 